The victory it gains. Welcome to Daily Scriptures, and today we stay with the Revelation and look at chapter 12, verses 7 to 11, with particular interest in verse 11, where we read, They triumphed over him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. Revelation 12, 7 to 11, New International Version. They triumphed over him. Then war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back. But he was not strong enough, and they lost their place in heaven. The great dragon was hurled down, that ancient serpent called the devil, or Satan, who leads the whole world astray. He was hurled to the earth, and his angels with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have come the salvation, and the power, and the kingdom of our God, the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of our brothers and sisters who accuses them before our God night and day has been hurled down. By the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, they did not love their life so much as to shrink from death. The Atonement gains victory. The cross has ended Satan's power over humanity and has provided us with three mighty weapons by which we can overcome him. The blood of the Lamb, the word of our testimony and the sacrificial spirit of the cross. Satan's accusations are all met by the blood of Christ. Martin Luther once picked up a pen and wrote across the bottom of a list of sins. The blood of Jesus Christ, God's Son, cleanses from all sin. Satan has to withdraw when presented with the claims of Christ's atoning blood, and we have victory over his accusations. Please join me in a time of prayer and worship. Thank you, dear Lord, that your blood is the power by which I can conquer Satan and his accusations. Amen.